Hi, and welcome to this flow paper tutorial, the difference between zine, elements, and reflow. In this tutorial, we will take a look at flow paper's three major templates, zine, elements, and reflow. Each is uniquely designed to suit different publication needs. We will break down each of these three templates and we'll let you know which will serve you best. Okay, let's begin by importing our PDF. Now we can choose between our three templates, Zine, Elements, and Reflow. Let's begin by looking at Zine. Zine provides an optimized experience for your publication where your PDF is being compressed and converted into a web format that will end up roughly a third of the original PDF size. It does this at the same time as making sure it will be displayed in the best way possible for mobile devices, as well as on desktops. The Zine template provides basic functionality as far as editing, links, images, and videos, allowing you to modify your publication to suit your needs. Okay, now I'm going to import the same file again, but this time using the Elements template. Elements contains the same base functionality as Zine, but it is also able to display pages in a sliding manner as well as in a flipbook and folding pages manner. On top of compressing the output and optimizing it for mobile, the Elements template takes every object inside the PDF and converts it to an HTML5 object. What does this mean exactly? It means you can actually affect objects in your publication on an individual level. For example, I can take this text and add an animation to it. You can also move objects around or even delete them. See, there's our animation. Apart from being able to add interactivity, you can also optimize the publication further for accessibility. If you head on over to the settings section of the elements template, you will find more accessibility options as well as publication protection. Publication protection adds an additional layer of protection to your publication and by turning all of your text into objects. Accessibility options help by making it available to screen readers and more. While Flowpaper does this, it's also able to optimize the content so that search engines are able to pick up on the content of the publication better. Check out our separate tutorials to get more information about how to use these features. You also have the same ability to switch to a mobile format with the Elements template. All your content will be resized automatically. Okay. Reflow template is for users who want complete control over where things are placed in their final publication. It's also for users who want to take their responsive layout even further. Here we can pull whichever pages or elements we like from our PDF to our publication. Reflow template lets you import pages as a whole. I'm just going to go over some of the basics of what this template can do. Here you can adjust things like the size of the header text. You can add text heavy pages as well. Here you are able to modify everything. You can even change the placement of your images. Again, your publication will adapt to a mobile device. You can see that it is nicely responsive and that it all looks clear. And those are our three major templates in Flowpaper. Thanks for watching this flow paper tutorial, the difference between zine, elements, and reflow. You can find more tutorials to help you through this process online.